We have big news coming in from the northeastern state of Manipur. Remember, the situation is tense. And now a soldier has received injuries over the miscreants that have been firing and resorting to violence and vandalism. The miscreants resorted to unprovoked firing from the Kanto Sabal toward Chingmag village. Uh, this, uh, we are being told that the army columns then resorted to controlled retaliatory fire, keeping in view presence of villagers also in that area. But one army soldier has sustained gunshot wound and he has been rushed to uh, the nearby military hospital. Additional columns are being sent in. Remember, Manipur in the past few weeks have seen ethnic clashes between the Kukis and the Metes, but it has been not been able to be a situation where the situation has turned to complete normal. There are a lot of other issues about uh, action that was taken against uh, the poppy farming and the infiltrators and extremists from across the border as well. So there are a lot of issues brewing in Manipur right now. Let's go across to Akshay Dongre. Akshay, I must add here, is currently on the ground in Manipur to track us the latest. Akshay, what happened? Even an army soldier has received injuries. What is the situation looking like? You've been reporting consistently. Has anything changed much in the northeastern state? Well, unfortunately, not not much has changed mm. on the ground here in Manipur. In fact, in Imphal as well, the situation is becoming more and more volatile. As uh, people are getting more and more angry about the fact that it has been over 45 days and the situation has not normalized in the state. Now, if you are talking about the recent incident that happened last night, uh, the uh, spear core of the Indian Army has uh, 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 has been in in Imphal in different parts of Manipur, and it's not just the spear core. Different uh, regiments, different uh, 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 sections of the Indian Army have been roped in to uh, to bring normalcy in the state. But uh, the the drift deficit is so much that uh, people are uh, you know people are at odds. Many of the those people who have lost their homes. Many of the people have lost their family members in the state yes. and the situation instead of getting normalized in the past 15 days has become more volatile mm. and now even the security forces are coming on, uh, coming under uh, under attack by, yes. by miscreants, by, by extremists and, uh, uh, and this is usually happening at the cover of the night when uh, the security forces are operating okay. in volatile areas. Akshay, keep tracking the latest. Stay safe as well. Thank you for bringing us the ground reports. Remember, it is now the armed forces that are literally ensuring to save as many lives as possible. Many, and I'm talking about in hundreds, who have rushed to relief camps, rushed to Delhi to come to safer areas. Manipur has been on the edge for several weeks now. Akshay Dongri with the latest from the state. So remember in Manipur, while there have been ethnic clashes, there have been armed forces that have been moved in in several areas to bring law and order situation back on. But now there is the state crippled with regard to essential supplies. Chief Minister Biren Singh has contacted Mizoram Chief Minister seeking aid. Political parties have jumped in. The opposition is targeting the center. Remember for Manipur, the Bharatiya Janata Party is in the state government and is also in the center. Take a look at this ground report coming in from the northeastern state. I want to go home to a safe Manipur. I I want peace in Manipur. I want everything back to normal in Manipur. Manipur continues to burn. 45 days of unending violence. And the state continues to be on the edge. Now people are taking responsibility for their own protection. For checking, patrolling as well as defending. Uh, by making border posts, by making bunkers in their respective villages and people have taken up arms as well as far as the protection is concerned. There are these kind of uh, barricades that have been set up uh, where people check anybody entering into the village uh, for their identity, for the things that they are bringing in. Manipur Chief Minister N. Viren Singh has sought the help from Mizoran Chief Minister in resolving the crisis. On Sunday, there were protests against the Prime Minister's Man Ki Baat program. Man Ki Baat was also used by Congress to hit out at the Modi government. Questioning the Prime Minister's silence, the Grand Ole Party slammed the centre and state government for failing to protect the state. Manipur Sarkar ke mantri ka ghar jalaya gaya, saikhano jane gai. मणिपुर में कानून व्यवस्था नाम की कोई चीज नहीं रह गई कोई सुरक्षित नहीं रह गया है तो मैं इसको सीधे सीधे गृह मंत्रालय भारत सरकार की 
असफलता मानता हूं क्योंकि तीन दिन गृह मंत्री जी रह के जो फार्मूला दे के आए हैं क्या वो पूरी तरह सफल नहीं हुआ एंगो ओवर व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन मणिपुर स्पिलिंग आउटसाइड द स्टेट दे वे प्रोटेस्ट इन हैदराबाद टू मीन वाइल आर एस एस हैज अपील फॉर पीस इन मणिपुर विथ अक्षय डोंगरे फ्रॉम इम्फाल ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे